1992, Los Angeles, California. It seemed like the whole city was at war. But the youth were rising up. Gangs ruled the street. People were getting shot and killed. But one alternative was graffiti art. Crazy ass, mad ass CBS. This movement was the catalyst to propel the art form into the mainstream. You know, when you're a kid, you're not getting paid for this shit. You're just out there to do it to get respect from your peers. One crew at the forefront of this movement was CBS. CBS is CBS is Hollywood-based graffiti crew. The letter stands for it can't be stopped. CBS is to me is to everyone is the holy grail of graffiti. Is this like hey, CBS or what? Dude? CBS. Crossing freeways, risking our lives to hit those middle lanes. Hitting highway overpasses, bombing trains, they were just constantly active. It was about our mindset in all of those capacities. I'll whoop your ass, I'll burn you on the wall, and I can out-rap you or out-DJ you on the spot. Yeah. You know we got Skate. The leader of our crew, then Skate was the truth. He was a real Hollywood vandal. Huge stories about Skate. I saw Skate fighting tonight, and I saw Skate, you know, kicking it tonight. I saw Skate punking some cops tonight. We were tagging all night, we were drinking all day. The nastiest crew around, and that's the truth. Everyone wanted to be from CBS. You know, it was almost impossible to stop its growth. Just talking about how many guys worldwide are done with the crew, because it's just like it represented something when we were kids and it still represents that now. It's become a monster in a sense because it's everywhere. It's global now. I ain't out here to do characters. I'm out here to bomb. Well, my crew's like one of the oldest and most well-known crews in LA and if not the graffiti world. CCBS can't be stopped.